Martin. Martin. Oh, sorry about that. I was just... Just leave it. Right, where were we? Um, oh, yeah. I've once again been informed by your school about your most recent behaviour. I can explain it. You got into a physical encounter with another pupil, is that correct? Yeah, but he was mocking and me. And you screamed at several teachers. It's complicated, all right? Refused to go to class. Oh, I can see that there's nothing new here. You have to listen to me. It's all because of this new thing. It's unlike the others. It's real. Martin, you're panicking about things inside your head. But they're just hallucinations caused by your condition. But this, this is different. It's not a hallucination or a voice. It's not just in my head and I know it. Martin, we've been through this time and time again. They are just voices. No, but this isn't. No, it is. And we need to find a way to deal with it. You have to believe me. But I want to believe you, Martin, but first, you need to believe me. But if you take your medication in the right way, you'll see I'm telling you the truth. They don't work. And how do you know if you don't take them? I've taken them for the whole of my life and they haven't worked. <sighs> Look, this thing is dangerous. And not just to me. Look, there's no need to fear it. You need to embrace it and understand that it can't harm you. Don't run away from it. I don't it. understand what you're asking me to do. You have no idea. It's something that I can't control. I need to escape well, from it. You can't escape from it because it is you. Embrace it. Martin? I'm sick. I'm bloody tired of this shit! You don't know what it's like to be me! You don't know what I see! Hell, no one does. Not my parents, not my teachers, and especially not you! Martin, that's enough! Look, I am here for you. I can help you, but you have to listen to me. I'm not lying. It's real. And it torments me. Martin, you've always said that these things follow you. It's part of your disorder. That's why you're here, to stop fearing it. But this... This is not a disorder. And how can you be so sure? They began as sleepless nights. Which I thought was because of the occasional nightmare you get once in a while. But these nightmares... Oh yeah. These nightmares weren't just occasional. They happened every single night. I couldn't stop seeing it. And sleepless nights turned into nights like yesterday. It's like my dreams were becoming reality. No matter what I do, it's there. There he was, standing in front of me, staring into my soul. I needed to run away, but as you say, 
Running away is pointless. Martin, listen. Now you understand what I'm saying. This is all about you. You can't run away from yourself. I'm afraid of doing what you're asking me to do. But you need to understand that you need to control it. You need to embrace it. Don't make me do that. Don't make you know, me do that. This is who you are and you can't change that. You can't run away from it. And, and you, you can't make things change. No. It's harmless, Martin. It's just a part of you. No. And all this fear, we can make it go away if you just listen to me and do as I say. Embrace it. Do you understand? Stop. Embrace it. Martin?